Fucked and drank all night Acted all alright Had no need to fight Tonight, tonight Right guys, so welcome back to the build. Um, sorry I've been away, I've been at uni and uh, so I've had to focus on that and haven't really had a chance to work on the build. As you see, the front axle is half kind of in. Uh, we're having a bit of an issue with the panhard rod and uh, some different bolt sizes for that, but uh, we're gonna drill out the uh, mount to the chassis, which is over here. We're gonna drill that out and then fit the bigger style later bolt. Um, so that will all work. In the meantime, I'm going to be fitting new bump stops to the car. I've already got that side loosely fastened on. I'm gonna fasten this side on. Next step is to then take the wheels off, um, put the new springs from Spring Coil Limited here. As you can see, we've got progressive front shot uh, springs and they're gonna be paired with a Bill Stein V6 uh, shock absorber damper. Um, as you can see this is progressive and we've uh, tailored the progressive rate of the uh, spring to the sh these shocks. I've uh, used these as standard with normal Land Rover springs and they're brilliant but uh, with these springs uh, tailored to them as they are it should uh, be a huge improvement on the uh, standard ride characteristics of a Land Rover. Other bits and bobs that need doing, the uh, you see there's a pot of uh, brake line parts there. I need to sort the cables going down from the chassis to the calipers. Um, and then from then on, we can uh, that the front axle should be complete. We can take the rear one out. As you see, I've acquired a welder, which is going to be handy when doing the engine mounts. Also this term at uni, I've, uh, I've been uh, practicing my welding and been taught welding uh, in the engineering department. So I should now be able to uh, weld up my engine mounts, my M57, which will save me some money, which will be good. Other bits that need doing as well, I need to go back and start finishing up all the wiring, properly P-clip that in, um, run the brake lines once, once I'm happy with where the wiring's at, and, uh, and then from then on we can uh, start to actually rebuild the rear axle, and then finally, at long last get into the interesting stuff with this bad boy over here so i'm looking forward to it this christmas i've got a lot more free time um as you see the uh, gearbox hasn't even moved i've got a lot more free time this christmas so i'm hoping to really make some proper progress with the build and uh, show you guys some good content it's been a bit slow sorry about that but it's just the nature of how these things are sadly i, w I wish i could get paid to build my own land rover but i can't So as you can see, so as you can see, I've fitted the uh, front progressive suspension from Spring Coil Limited and the uh, Bilstein B6 socks to the car. Um, I didn't film this actually just because it's just really fiddly and there's not a really nice camera angle to do it. But fitment was as standard on a normal Defender. The only thing that I did find was that the uh, new rubbers with the Bilstein shocks were a bit stiff. So actually, I had to wind on the nut. Um, before, uh, without this bottom uh, bottom spa uh, spacer ring um, first to wind them down, just compress those rubbers down a little bit, and then I wound it back off and put this back on as it as it is standard, and it's all all fits nicely, all fits well. Um, just a just a classic kind of aftermarket part kind of thing there that occasionally have got to overcome when putting a defender back together. Next up. Um, I actually don't have a big enough drill bit. I actually don't have a big enough drill bit to uh, drill out the uh, panhard rod, so I think I'm going to leave that for now. Come back to that and uh, borrow a bigger drill bit. Off. Right. So as you can see, here's the uh, the front suspension's in. The caliper and axles obviously being rebuilt. Uh, new EBC vented discs, all that good stuff. Um, the next job is to run the brake lines. So for these, I've got some Terra uh, Firma heavy duty versions to go from the chassis to the caliper itself 
and I'm gonna have to make up the small piece that goes in between the uh, the caliper and the hose between there. So that's the next job. So, as you can see, I've run all of the brake lines along the car um, and set for the one that goes to the back, obviously because I'm about to take the rear axle out and refurb that, so there's no point running that yet. Um, as you can see, I've just kind of curled it up there. It's still in copper, probably will spray it um, with a bit of black paint just so it kind of loses it in the engine bay. I'm not a fan of the copper look, but they're quite neat. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure people can do it straighter, but that'll do. Um, what else so next up um in the edge of bay and every everywhere else i kind of need to just sort out the wiring and also i need to p-clip that through the bulkhead so what i'm going to do to uh do that is actually first i'm going to remove the uh lower dashboard um as i want to sound deaden the entire back of the bulkhead um so, so what I'm going to do is remove that. That will also give me some better access to the wiring, um, to which there's a chunk of that that I need to cut out. So, um, yeah, that's the next step. As you can see, the wiring here is a complete mess. So remembering where all of that goes uh, should be fun. But, uh, yeah, that's the next job. I'll try and film as much of it uh, as I can. But, obviously, filming wiring and all of that is, A, not very interesting, and, B, actually quite difficult to do in here. So... We'll see how we get on. Right, so the next job is to uh, fix the um, the bar coming in from the steering arm. This is a heavy duty version of Gwyn Lewis one. Uh, this ball joint actually isn't horrendous to be fair, but the gate is broken. And on the other end, to get it off, uh, the nut got seized on there, so I had to cut it off. So I'm just gonna replace these at both uh, for new, with new ball joints. Um, just, just for peace of mind and uh, so that I don't have to crawl under the car in the future in the next couple of months. So as you can see as part of my suspension upgrades, I'm also fitting a Bilstein steering damper to the car. Um, this is gonna this is gonna join to the car on my Gwyn Lewis heavy duty uh, steering arm. And uh, I'm gonna go fit that to the car now. 